1967 Chevy 2 station wagon. From checking the springs and struts. It's an all motor car. To replacing the spark plugs. Chris Tinch spends most of his free time. That's pretty sweet. Getting his dragster or drag car ready for the next race. It runs eighth mile at some of the local tracks, Mooresville Drag Strip, Daddy Side, and Shelby. I've always torn things apart, taken things apart, see how they work. When he was a student at the School of Technology in Lincolnton, a teacher recognized his knack for disassembling electronic equipment. He really pushed me to, to learn more about electronics and learn more about electrical stuff. During his junior year, Chris found out about an apprenticeship program offered by Bloom, a Lincoln County company that makes cabinet hinges and drawer slides. Chris signed up for courses in mechatronics engineering technology at Central Piedmont Community College. Mechatronics is a relatively new specialty that combines mechanical and electrical engineering classes. When Chris completed their apprenticeship, Bloom offered him a full-time job. Out on the production floor, you have old machines from the 70s and new machines from last year. To see the change in technology is unreal. If something breaks or something needs to be worked on, they call us and we go anywhere we need to be. If the press goes down, we go work on the press. It's never the same. It's always something different. These are our Avento's lift systems. Same thing, simple push of a button, they open automatically. The kitchen cabinet isn't the only place where you'll find Bloom products. You'll see Bloom hinges in doctor's office or retail stores, NASCAR haulers, where they haul the race cars. Chris's starting salary was 34000 and after five years with the company, he could be earning around 45000 the median salary for a mechatronics engineer in the Charlotte region is 67000 The opportunity for advancement here is astronomical. People who enjoy the field of advanced manufacturing tend to be detail-oriented. You have to be curious. You have to want to know how something works. Mechatronics instructor Jamie Dale says there's a growing demand for skilled workers like this. Those machines have to have caretakers, installers, maintainers. If you have those skills, then you've got a job because there's always going, there are going to be more and more people required to maintain the equipment, fewer people required to operate the equipment. Soccer is fun and competitive, but serious players have to train harder, longer, and faster than their opponents. Rebecca Espinall applies those same skills to her career goals. When Rebecca was in high school, her original plan was to go to college and pursue a degree in international relations. But then she started thinking about her job options. Where could you really get a job? I mean, maybe some government offices, possibly some travel agencies, but it was really limited. Then she found out about a four-year apprenticeship program that seemed too good to be true. She also enrolled at CPCC and started working on an associate's degree to become a computer numerically controlled or CNC machinist. They want to find people who are willing to learn this skill and pretty much run these machines. Rebecca says she's fascinated by all the things they make like steam turbine engines, gas turbine engines, and generators for the power industry. When I'm working and I see this and I go home and I flip on the light switch, it's like, I'm contributing to being able to have this electricity at home. Twice a week, she goes to class. I find it very incredible how people come up with ideas to build these things. And it's always interesting to me about learning how you make this better. Today, she's learning how to operate a high-tech machine designed to cut through metal plates. When she's not in class, she's working at Siemens, where she's not only getting real-life experience, but earning a nice paycheck, too. You know, not a lot of 19-year-olds can say they're gaining $14 an hour. It's pretty amazing. After completing the apprenticeship, she's guaranteed a job with Siemens, and she'll be earning even more. Upon completion of the program, once they're integrated into the workforce, uh, they'll be earning somewhere around $55,000 a year. And five years later, they'll have moved into top pay in their pay grade, and it will be somewhere around $65,000 a year. They can continue their education under whatever path in the engineering field that they choose. From there, they can go anywhere, and the sky's the limit as far as salary goes. Colin says landing a high-paying job doesn't necessarily require going to college. In our high schools, a four-year degree has been pushed very hard. That is not the only career path that there is, 
and uh, apprenticeship and advanced manufacturing is a very technical job. You can earn, in many cases, more money than someone with a four-year degree. There are a lot of opportunities out there. People just have to look for them. Whether you're operating a machine to create more reliable and energy efficient turbines for power plants, or maintaining highly automated precision equipment to make high quality hardware for kitchen cabinets, there are a number of advanced manufacturing companies throughout the Charlotte region. And technically skilled employees are needed now more than ever. For more information about high demand jobs in the field of advanced manufacturing, check out centralinaworks.com and charlotteworks.com.